Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. You know that. I know that. I feel like I'm dressed like Dwayne Johnson today. You know, the boulder, the rock, if you will. Do you smell what he's cooking? It's not a scam like these people. So one of my favorite things, and it seems like something y'all like as well, is when I do where I keep wanting to say, do we know them? <laughs> like Lily and Jesse's podcast. If you're not following them, please do. They're amazing. I love them so much. Hey girls. I know you're watching. I love checking back in with these scammers and seeing where they are. Obviously, hopefully they are not recovered, but, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like our hope is that they have learned and that they are not in the MLM anymore or they are not scamming. A lot of times they have moved on to a different scam or just craziness has ensued. I am putting on lashes real quick. I'm sorry. I'm also not sorry, but I'm obsessed with these. They're the Bear Affair ones by Kiss. I love them. Anyways, those will be linked below. It'll be an affiliate link. Just assume every link is an affiliate link, please. But obviously I have to disclose it so I can be FTC compliant. There's a fuzzy in this. Oh my God, do you hear my neighbor's dog? I love him so much. His name's Bear. He's the sweetest boy ever. He has separation anxiety, clearly, but I love her, so it's fine. Plus she deals with my crying baby. Let's get into it. So today we're covering a wide array of people. Now, some are seemingly like out of MLMs. Some have taken, like removed themselves. Some have, well, all have blocked me. <laughs> Three out of four have blocked me. And then one took a real wild turn. I don't want to say I wasn't expecting it. Actually, yeah, I wasn't expecting it. So let's go ahead and we're going to, I'm basically going to like reintroduce you to these people. I'll give you a little a little like recap of as seen on the last episode or previously seen on the spiciest channel ever. So I'll give you a little recap of like the video I mentioned them in. Have Ethan, you know, do a little, a little flashback, if you will, just to refresh your memory, because I think that that is important. And I don't know, it's kind of fun to like go down memory, the memory lane. In one of them, I actually mentioned in the video, I was like, it was Top Fails 1. Isn't that crazy? It's so cute. Because now we're on 115. We're awaiting sponsorship approval for that. But still, that's insane. So that was like two years years ago and in the video I even said like subscribe if you're not already which please do but I was like subscribe I'm almost at 13,000 subscribers I want to hit 15,000 before Christmas and it's just like you sweet little baby angel you have no idea what's coming like ugh my heart okay like makes me proud of myself you know also makes me proud that I can afford an editor because dear god <laughs> the sound on those videos. <laughs> Hopefully Ethan can make them not as awful. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're gonna check in with today. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the like craziest one for the end. So like, you know, video retention and watch time. So let's go with Alexandria first. So this is someone that we had in Top Fails one. And she's unfortunately not the one that did the Uno reverse on us, but she was in top fields one. And then the next, like right after that, the next video that I posted after that too, which was the sad reality of being in an MLM. And that is a video where she was talking about how she's in Monet and like kind of pitching the opportunity in her IG stories. And then IGTV, something like that, just a, whatever, a video online. And then that day or like the next day, that night, it was crazy because it was like not even 24 hours later, something like that. She got on again and was crying like so hard. And I was like, oh my God, like poor girl, what the fudge? Like, what are you doing? It was just, it was really, really sad. All right, so let's take it all the way back to top fails number one. About the excuse that I hear all the time. So um, as you know, I talk to women day in, day out um, about what I do. And the main excuse that I hear is, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to sell product. I don't know how to use Instagram. I'm sorry, honey, but that excuse is not really relevant anymore. And I don't want to hear it. Um, it basically just comes down to you're just giving excuses and you are just being lazy, okay? Bottom line, you're being lazy. In today's society, <laughs> well, sh girl. So she said by doing something they already do. Basically, I teach women how to make money by doing something they already do. But the thing is, is that before they join a multi-level marketing company, they're not already, they're not already recruiting people and cold messaging and working that much. Please subscribe if you are not already. By the time I post this, we might already be at 
13,000 subscribers, but I would love to be at 15,000 by the end of the year. That's crazy that I even just said that number. It's like the fact that that is feasible is insane to me. Or a billion dollar company just open, like we have their sh our shares are open to you guys. That's five thousand dollars each quarter that you could get if you become a f um if you become a founder. That's crazy. You're right. That is crazy because it's not accurate. The impact that our business has is so so huge, and I'm so grateful to be a part of this company. Either unfollowed me, have blocked me, have stopped being my friend. Um, just all these all the things that have happened. My family. Um, only a few of them buy for me. It's really hard. It's really hard because people get to pick and choose what they want to support, who they want to support, what products they want to be natural with and what products they don't want to be natural with. Despite how much proof we have that these products work. So Alexandria or Alex, whatever, is someone who I really obviously wanted to get out of the MLM. Not me get out, but like I really wished that for her, for her to get out. And a lot of times what happens, and we've talked about this so many times, the like fundamentalist Christian naivete, those types of people are just a demographic that is so so vulnerable to MLMs and especially like Young Living, Mane, ones like that that really target those types of groups and like work that into their business structure, their business model so much and it's really sad and I hate it. So, I was able to find her Instagram and her TikTok as well. I was happy to see that she did go private on Instagram and and I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. Also looks like she got married. Beautiful, love that for her. But then also I was like, let me see in her links in her bio. What's it say? My Amazon storefront, TikTok, Spotify, custom hair quiz. So that's great. So I went to her TikTok account and wanted to see like, all right, is she still doing it? Her bio says Jesus first, big conspiracy girly, wanna be homesteader. What is with the MLM girls and really just, I mean, in, not only them, but in general, so many people going to conspiracy nut job homesteader. Like what is, what is that pipeline from MLM girly, like hustle girl boss babe to homesteader look like you're wearing potato sacks at home, how women are not supposed to work and that like using birth control is awful. It's like, what are y'all doing? They're like making bread, just spreading like the most dangerous medical misinformation and the most like misogynistic family values. I really just miss the days of them trying to sell shampoo. One thing that I thought was hilarious was one of the first TikToks on her page was talking about, it says the government doesn't care about you. I mean, obviously they don't care about us. The media lies. They are poisoning our food and water. Big Pharma is a scam. And it's like rich coming from someone in a pyramid scheme. And on it, it says participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. <laughs> Well, love that. So also about two years ago when we were featuring her, she had said that she had about, I believe she said like 160 to like 200 people under her in money. And then she was saying that she was already at the market, market mentor rank, which is like the Cadillac rank, the middle of the compensation plan, but that she wasn't going to get the Cadillac yet because like she wanted to be more like financially stable. And it's like, that's a fun way of saying you can't afford it. So cool. Then I looked at her on eight page and it says that she's at the market builder rank. That is the fourth rank within the MLM and the high annual gross earnings. So meaning the person at that rank that makes the most money is making 32,000 a year. And then, which revenue, not profit. So probably much less than that, especially when you take in taxes. Then the median is 5,000 a year. So it's like, okay, those people aren't making any money basically. And again, pre-tax, pre shampoo, whatever. So it doesn't look like she's like actively selling it or recruiting people anymore, but then it also still does look like she has people under her and she's still like kind of maintaining a rank of some sort. But I just thought that was really interesting how she went to like conspiracy homesteader. Next we have Giselle. We covered Giselle, I wanna say, was it like a year ago maybe? I think it was like a year ago. She was in Isagenics. She keeps calling it Isa, which is like, just call it what it's called. What are you doing? And then also Kangen. And it was just so strange. And I made a video about her and she took offense to it. And then her sisters, as well as her, were like really coming at me. And then she sent me voice notes, which of course, 
Of course I'm gonna feature those, duh. So let's go ahead and get a little refresher, shall we? Hey Chelsea, thank you so much for getting back to me. I really do appreciate you and your message and I feel it and <laughs> on my end, you're totally good, forgiven. Um, I would love to just share my story with you if you're open to hearing it. I know that you're probably wanting to text back and forth just so that if something is said, like you can repost it. And honestly, like I, I think my story is a little bit long. As you saw, you're like, oh, what network marketing company are you? Are you in one, two, three? Like, um, so if you're open, I can just shoot you voice notes and you can listen to them if you want. Um, but I think that my story is a little bit unique, but I also think that it's really powerful, um, especially because I was just like you, so skeptical and like, I didn't think it was a scam, but I thought it was a pyramid scheme. So I guess it could be the same thing, you know? lot to unpack there so yeah just let me know if you're okay with me just sending you voice notes um and again i it's not going to be anything like me talking back and forth to you like I, I don't i don't do that i don't partake in that and it's just not who i am so i hope that you can just hear my heart through my voice notes um and so that if you want to actually listen to my story, you can. And if not, no big deal. I totally get it. My mom is the one that told me to do this again. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like sales is not for me. And I thought that Mary Kay was the only network marketing company. Did anyone else think that? Like, I didn't know that there is network marketing for basically everything. Like, I had no idea. Like, I just thought it was Mary Kay. And what I thought about it was that it was for old people. And I was wrong across the board. Mary Kay kind of gets wrong. Just kidding. Sorry. It's not. It's not? It's not. My upline was like three years older than me. Yikes. Ooh, again, there's like her mom said, if looks could kill, her roommate better watch out. All right, and of course, if you wanna watch any of these videos, I will have them all linked down below and all that. Sometimes it's fun to go down memory lane, you know? It is, that entire saga was truly crazy and the voice notes that she sent me, like she really was like really tr being manipulative and she's just so brainwashed and it is just so, so kooky. And the fact that she's like, yeah, I joined Isogenics because I wanted to lose weight and then I lost weight and I liked the products and I made money. And so then I did it as a business. And then I joined Kangen and moved across the country to be closer to my water fam or water team because I needed God. And it's like, you don't join a company because you like, then go to church or like just pray or read the Bible or whatever God you're worshiping. Like, what are, what are you doing? It's just real, real strange. So I had no hope of her getting out of either MLM, but wanted to check in just in case. So of course, first place we go is her Instagram. She still has not blocked me. I'm not sure why or how everyone else sure does, which, hey, I would too, if I was them, I would definitely block me. Still in both of them. She's hanging out with the Kangen couple, Colton and something, I can't remember their names, but they're like at the top of Kangen. They are super, super culty. They basically have their own cult. And then she's also still in Isogenics and well and promoting those products too. Now, one thing that I find is interesting is that she is now also says the founder of Holy Girl LLC. Girl, you don't have to put LLC on like the name as well, but of course a lot of these dum-dums do that because they want to seem more official. <laughs> Community, purity, confidence, wholeness. I clicked on her Holy Girl LLC membership thing and it says join our community, Holy Girl Monthly Membership. The Holy Girl Monthly Membership is a community that supports women in growing in their faith, walking out their God-given purpose, living above culture, breaking free from negative thought patterns, and building a legacy for God. Monthly, it's $25.99. But then if you want to pay yearly, it is $240.95. And then included in this membership, one 60 minute monthly group call. So a Zoom call, private community of like-minded, holy seeking women. Mm. Resources for dating faith and mindset, exclusive males and female meetups for locals, ad hoc Bible studies and prayer meetings. I have no idea what that is. Access to giveaways. That's crazy. You know what's really wild? You know, you know who else offers all these things? church. Yeah. You just, you just go to church. You could also join a small group. You could also like, and those don't, those don't cost anything. I know with the small groups at our church, like they'll just want to know like who's coming and then they'll just like all order food and you all just like give maybe like five bucks or 10 bucks to somebody and like that's it. Or just like someone hosts and like buys a platter or something like that. Also there's like singles mixers or there's like young professionals mixers and all that jazz. And like at events, there's like raffles. 
and like fundraisers and it's just so interesting that she like what girl why are you making people pay for that also one thing i love lately is when these mlm hustle boss babe girls turned fundy boss babe internet scammers let's get away from culture and worldly things it's like ma'am you're posting this most likely on an iphone onto a social media platform those are worldly things like y'all are so it's just like the double speak and the hypocrisy is crazy and like i said it looks like she is still doing isogenics and all that she reposted someone posted the kangan someone named the kangan mom gross posted it said eight months into my journey with isogen isa i hate that she calls that isogenics i was introduced to kangan water i believe we deserve the best of the best i've sold machines to people in isogenics and vice versa love when people share the same passion passion for health so excited for you best part she loved the product then now they just keep getting better and better and i didn't think it was possible okay so she she's still at it looks like she's just always with her upline and like always watching their kid i want to know if that couple is just like manipulating their downline and just like basically using them for free childcare. because if so that's hilarious now it is time to check back in with everyone's favorite monate mormon girly michaela I've missed her. It took me so long to find her because I could, for the life of me, could not remember how to spell her name, what her name was. And finally I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, she said her name was Michaela. And then also she said she worked at IHOP. So I was like, I remember looking at her LinkedIn. Actually, no, she never said she worked at IHOP. She said that she had like another job that she like hated and something. And so I was like, I wonder what it was. And then I looked her up at the time and I saw her LinkedIn and it was IHOP. And I there's nothing wrong with working at IHOP, but don't act like you have worked a corporate job when you have not. You've only worked at IHOP. So like you don't have anything to compare it to. It's ridiculous. But this definitely has to be one of the, in my opinion, one of the most naive, immature little girlies in money. And it's just, it's really sad. Like, like at first it's funny. And then it just, when you think about it for more than five seconds, it gets real sad. I think it really just shows not only that people in some people that are Mormon that are, you know, super young and get married very young and have just no life experience basically whatsoever, just believe that so hard without questioning anything and like don't realize they're in a cult and then also will join these MLMs and don't know anything and just like again haven't experienced life like she hasn't had a job and honestly refuses to get a job even in one of the last videos that we talked about and we've we featured her a few times I think I've done like three standalone videos on her and one of the most recent ones was where she was basically just like refusing to get a job and it's like girl get a job and she was complaining about how her husband like has to work full-time but then also go to school full-time and she's like I just want us to have this life and blah blah and get a job like what are you doing like that's what you got to do sometimes you got to get a job so wild anyways so she has been in money for four years and is still at i believe literally one of the bottom ranks truly wild so let's go ahead and give a little bit of a refresher a little recap and let's watch this little montage of my favorite moments from our favorite money mormon michaela like you knew something was true, but you were hoping that some miracle would occur to make it not true. And you like shoved it down and then it gets said out loud and it's just like becomes reality, you know? And when he said that, I just sat there for a second, just so overwhelmed and so stressed. And then I had this little voice in the back of my head be like, what are you doing? To be making more than enough money to allow him to go to school full time. And obviously I talk about retiring my husband all the time. That's always been my goal. That was my goal before I had a husband, before I was dating Robert. When I clicked join now on my first direct sales company back on October 20th, 2018, it was because I saw girls my age retiring their husbands and being a full-time family with the income they were making. And we, what we did is we set a 90 day goal and then what we're gonna do today towards that goal. My goal for this month is MMB. And I know that that doesn't really mean anything when you don't know our compensation plan or anything like that, but it's a big goal, like structure goal, like as far as helping my team and things like that, it requires me to step into a level of leadership that I'm still working on. I wrote down my goals and MM would absolutely change everything for us. 
This is a list of all of the Monet ranks and their average annual earnings. This list takes into account every single market partner, even those who clicked join now and never made a single dollar. So this is a very conservative list. Uh, no. That are making this money from their phones. And I look at this list and at these numbers. From their phones, from their downline, just say from their downline. Would I not take advantage of this incredible opportunity? If I can make a real income from selling shampoo on Instagram, like why, why am I crying in the bathroom about my husband having to go to school full time and work full time? People think that easy means that they're going to click join now and money is going to fall out of the sky into their lap. And that is not the case. OK, when I say that this business is easy, I mean that the work itself is easy. I make the majority of my money watching the office from my couch in my pajamas. I don't have to lift bricks. I don't have to do complex equations. The work is easy, but you still have to. Do I share this opportunity. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> um, why? <laughs> why? Checking back in on Michaela again, I hoped that she would get out. She has not. Doesn't look like she's really progressed in the company either. I wonder why. <sighs> the half truths, the lies. It's like, girl, do you do you believe what you're saying? And the, the sad thing is, is that I believe that she does. I believe that she believes it's true. So she's still in money. It's still in her links in her bio. Literally the only links in her bio. And I was thinking, okay, maybe she has like stepped back a little bit. And I saw that she had an Instagram story up. I was like, let me go watch that. 30 minutes later. And if you want to see a full reaction to this Instagram story, it'll be one of my next videos coming out. Maybe it came out before this. Who knows? Either way, I'll have it linked down below. I get to spend time with him, watch our shows, eat dinner together, um, go to bed together at the same time. And I was just thinking about, you know, little changes that I'd like to make to eat healthier, you know, focus on... Um, things that I enjoy, my hobbies, um, you know, goals I have for work and like stuff like that. And I was just thinking about how so many people don't have that luxury, you know, of, of time. You know, they they can't prepare like a whole healthy breakfast because they, they don't have time. They have to rush off to work in the morning or, um, you know, they don't have that time to spend with their husband or they don't get to go to bed at the same time as their husband because they have to work or he has to work and all that kind of stuff. Like today, I woke up at 10. I got work done in bed, snuggled my cat until like two o'clock and then i am now eating my breakfast and i can do whatever i want to do today <laughs> like after this i will probably practice piano a little bit i'll go to reload the dishwasher put away laundry um pack for my trip to california and then just kind of do whatever i want to do maybe put on a movie get some more work done and i was just thinking about you know how those little things i take for granted somebody else might not have that luxury you know and I saw a reel that my upline posted today or yesterday, something like that, um, because her husband is a police officer. And she posted this video. Um, and the background of the video was the lights, you know, flashing from his patrol car. And then a screenshot of a text that she had sent him that basically said something to the effect of like, you know, good night. I love you. Stay safe. Um, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Right. And our caption on the video was, if you don't have to send this text, then, um, you know, you're so blessed. And it made me think, you know, for one you know, those little things that we take for granted, how blessed I am to be able to sleep beside my husband every night. And I can't imagine, you know, what that feels like to be in her position. But also, you know, I know her for, I've known her for a few years, right? And we do money together. I know her why in this business is to bring him home full time. You know, she wants to be a stay at home mom and be present in her kids' lives. And she wants her husband to not have to go to work every day. Similar to mine, right? Except my husband is not putting his life on the line every night, you know, and I do sleep beside him. And, you know, just knowing her story, and you know the things that she's been able to accomplish in this business like my upline she's gone on the trips and been able to bring her family on you know the paid for it all-inclusive trips and she has the cadillac and all that kind of stuff um but even more than that because of the income that she makes from money her husband doesn't have to work overtime shifts which is huge because you know i've talked to her before about how terrifying his job already is and then to think that something could happen on a shift that he didn't have to work, but that he was working just so he could get those extra hours and the extra money. It's just a devastating thought. And because of her income with money, she doesn't have to worry about that at least, you know, he doesn't have to work overtime anymore. And I was just kind of like putting myself in her shoes, you know, thinking of what she has accomplished in this business, what she wants to accomplish. Mormon Moni Michaela is still telling half truths, still marketing the scam, using other people's stories and experiences because she hasn't had success in it. it. It's just the absolute worst. And the fact that she 
was just like, and it's the same as my story. No, it's not. <laughs> it's literally not. Ugh, this is why I have to do a full video on this because like reacting to that entire Instagram story because like, I, I just, I can't, I cannot. It made me so mad and that she is just, I don't, not mad. It made me very frustrated. It really just chapped my butt cheeks. <laughs> And the fact that she was like, yeah, I get to wake up and other people don't get to do that because they have to rush off to work. Not everyone who works a nine to five or a traditional office job or a traditional corporate job or a normal job has to rush off. Like there were many times where I would wake up a little earlier or, you know, I would shower the night before I would do my hair. I would get ready. I would have like a banana and like a, like a smoothie or like you know, or like pre-make things the night before so that I could like enjoy it in the morning and have my coffee. I'd like walk Wiggum or not walk them, have like sit out in the front yard. Like a lot of people aren't rushing off to work. Like it's not like what she sees in movies or like what is demonized within this cult that she is in and this preconceived idea like, girl, you don't know. You've never done it. And the thing is they could say all day long, well like, oh, well, you don't know. You've never been in money. I do because y'all broadcast everything and you live in a glass house because that's the way you market it because you can't actually talk about your income because 90% of you don't have an income and people in corporate America, God forbid corporate America, or who have actual jobs aren't sitting here showing every single aspect of their life and pushing that so much. And then also how she's like, my husband's at work today and like I can do whatever I want like because this is what I do for work. And it's like, do you actually work? What are you like, what are you doing? Anyway, so she's still at it. If you wanna see me react to the entirety of that Instagram story, cause it gets a million times worse, feel free to go watch that video. Like I said, if I post it after this one, just stay tuned. And if I post it before this one, I'll leave it in the description box or maybe the comments. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. Okay. So Michaela's still at it. So what's, what's our recap so far? We have one that's still in it and is not pushing it though. So like not technically active, but who has just gone full fundy wannabe homesteader and conspiracy girly. Another who is still completely brainwashed and still in it and then has started a new scam where she just charges people to read the Bible together, charges people for something that's already free. And then this one who is still in it, however, not successful in it still, and nothing has changed with her. So wonderful. Now let's go for the curveball, wildest and most chaotic timeline ever. But one of the people who is probably the most like unhinged and just chaotic on my channel that I've covered would have to be Destiny Parney. And if you know anything about Money, you're probably like, Parney isn't one of the top people in Money, Krista Parney, salvaged soul, if you will, who's usually dressed like a scarecrow because she wears big hats. Yes. So this is her sister who used to also be in Money, wasn't as successful as her older sister, actually got out of it. They got into like a huge fight or something allegedly. And like she got out of it and like wasn't doing MLMs, but then came back to it. It's just a lot. So I've made a few videos about her. She's been in a few top fail videos. And then also we did a video where we talked about her being a like life coach. And she kind of inspired that video of, you know, me just talking about like the life coach or like business coach pipeline from MLM girly to life coach. And she also inspired one of my favorite videos that I've done where I talk about the like business coaching or like life coach, online coach, certified, whatever scam, because she got a certification from this diploma farm, basically. And it's just such a huge scam. Please go watch that video. It's hilarious. And to prove the point that it's a scam, I took a bunch of the courses too. And had all of my certifications framed. Now I went through the other type of courses that they have on this website just to kind of see what it offers and see how ridiculous a lot of them are and how, again, they mean nothing. And to prove that they mean nothing, this is what I've been doing over the past few months. This is why it took me so long to make a follow-up video about this. Guess who's a, a life coach now? Not me, because this means nothing. And if this video is making you upset, don't worry. I can coach you into happiness too. I can teach you how to be happy because I took that course as well. And if you're still really mad about this video and want to post a rant about it on social media, don't worry. I'll teach you how to do that too. Social media consultant, I got you. Maybe a social media rant isn't going to make you feel better. You know what will make you feel better? Talking about your feelings with someone who's taken a psychology course. 
okay? Let's talk about it. When doing one of these videos and figuring out, okay, who do I wanna check in on? A lot of times I'll ask y'all, but then also I will go through just like my YouTube channel and look at the thumbnails and be like, you know, kind of thinking of like, oh, I wonder what that person's up to. Or like, oh, this person was pretty crazy. Like, let me see this. So I went through and I was like, oh, let me check in with Destiny. I also had someone message me, a few people actually message me and be like, this girl's doing this now or like she's crazy. So just, you know, just telling me all this crazy stuff about her. Even people who know her personally that are like, gave me way too much dirt. And I'm like, I don't, I don't need to know all that. I know too much about her. The thing is, is that this person puts every single thing online. So a lot of times it'll, it'll kind of be easy to just check in. You know, I go to their, or I try to find their Instagram. A lot of times I'm blocked. <laughs> I'll use someone else's phone and I'll, you know, go in their links, see if they're still doing it, you know, check back in, see if there's a new scam they've gone to. A lot of times that will happen too. And it's sometimes it's not as easy, but with Destiny, she changes her mind probably once a month, lately once a week, has a new scam, has a new side hustle, has a new thing so often to where like this folder has so many files in it. <laughs> that and like screenshots it's crazy and we checked in with her last year you would think that like she hasn't done that much over the last year but she has so like i said last time we checked in on her was almost exactly a year ago and at that time she had left money then joined it again and then started a podcast and then had like a real crazy mental health crisis and sent a bunch of voice notes to uh, uh, someone that i used to be acquaintances with and then that person sent them to me and it was just so much trauma dumping this girl like her middle her name should be destiny trauma dumping party it's insane so then she came back <laughs> literally took two steps out of the treatment center and decided that she was a, now a life coach got this piece of paper that said that she's a certified life coach which it's basically the equivalent of like reading a book on psychology or about life or whatever she says that she is like special that she specializes in like ptsd and like trauma and like depression and stuff and it's like mm, no you don't please stop saying that so i'm pretty sure like the whole treatment thing happened in like april of last year or may of last year or something like that like the first half of last year. And then around June-ish, she was then talking about her mindset and mental health coaching or like life coaching, whatever services that she was offering. And she was charging $599 for you to be able to talk to her and have her talk to you about your trauma and your mindset and how you can overcome it. Well, don't worry because she can make you go from depression to happiness in 30 days. Yeah. So that's great. Why would you spend $599 on that when literally therapy is cheaper? You could have like four therapy sessions for that much and like be self-pay. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. And the caption says, I have seen lives around me completely transform after one month of speaking with them. Yeah, girl. So from what I can tell and just going, scrolling way too far back on her Facebook and Instagram and all that... It doesn't seem like she scrubs her Facebook, but it does seem like she like scrubs her like Instagram and stuff like that. Also, she has like 12 Facebook pages and a bunch of Instagram pages. It's like, girl, get on some Adderall, please. Like, let's focus. It's crazy. Get on some Seroquel too to quiet the voices. Like sometimes we need that, all right? Seroquel saved my life. So from what I can tell, she's been in literally every MLM from Bella Grace to Hempworks to, I'm not sure if she's been in an oil one. Probably has Modare, Monate, Ariel, like so many. And in between all of those, there have been these other side business ventures like social media coaching, master resale rights, selling bracelets and taking over people's like social media and social media management where she posts these sh just most awfully made, not super horrible, but like not aesthetically pleasing graphics on their social media. And she's like, look at how like great they're doing. And it's like, that looks awful. Oh, and also her life coaching and like trauma coaching. She's going to coach you to have trauma business that she's completely unqualified for. And that it's just so dangerous. It's so crazy. Like girl, I went to treatment too. And sure. Like I, I, I do like helping people and, you know, talking with people and being able to share my experience. And if they want my advice, sure. But everyone, my advice and what happened to me is not going to work for everybody. Exhibit A, Paris Hilton had a horrible experience in treatment centers. She also did not go to good ones. And then I had an absolutely wonderful experience and it saved my life. So like people have different experiences. All right. So last we checked in on her, she was really shilling the life coaching, trauma dumping craziness. Also trying to start a podcast 
which seems like it went nowhere. And then she was also in REL, which is the uh, like CBD gummy MLM that's like super bright and vibrant and annoying. And she had left her husband and was living with a boyfriend. After we go through all of this insanity, please keep in mind that she has four kids. Also, I should have already said it at the beginning of this video, but please don't send hate to anyone. Do not harass, don't, don't contact these people at all, please. Please, 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 please. Just don't talk to them. This is not bullying. This is not harassment. Please don't, please don't talk to them. Please don't be a, please. This is educational, informational, entertainment purposes, okay? Also, they put out their puzzle stays for free on the internet, publicly on the internet. I'm the consequence of that. She has four kids. And it was real sad last night when I was, you know, going through stuff and thinking like, I don't know if it's because like, I'm a mom now. And yes, that's made me more like, I don't give a sh and more like that's my priority and I'm pointing that way because like he's in that room but it's also made me a little bit like i guess like softer too and it's just so sad i never want to be like you're causing your kids trauma but her kids growing up in this situation cannot be good and the like update that i'm gonna give you too is not even gooder it's worser it's worser -er. all right hold on to your squash mellow and get ready this is not mine this is my kids but it's also mine so around like the first quarter and, and even on January 6th, she put up this post talking about her Speak Up podcast where they talk about trauma and sexual abuse and severe PTSD. And it's like, oh, that wasn't successful. Like what? Oh, um, 31 weeks ago, someone commented on it and said, don't listen to this girl, biggest hypocrite ever. Crazy. I mean, I do think she's extremely hypocritical, but whatever. So she did that and then it also looks like not even six, six days later, or actually seven days later, it says, when you find an opportunity that calls your name, say yes and do it wholeheartedly. Girl, everything is calling your name. Like she starts 47 different things and then just you never hear about it again. Like to the point where it was hilarious when I was going through all of her stuff and like figuring out this timeline. It was <laughs> so wild. She So she was in Modair for, I'd say like a good part of like the first quarter of the year. And she kept posting these before and afters of using their collagen. Of course, I forgot to screenshot it. So I'll go ahead and put one in here. But it's clear that like, it's those types of before and afters where it's like, lighting and then really good lighting and listen like you can tell a difference when like a face is like hydrated or like you just put on moisturizer and then like in the before picture you didn't have any on so it's it's just dumb and there, it was very deceiving that's like basically all the marketing that she does it's just like super deceiving before and afters and it's really annoying and then in april on the 27th she posted thank you for everyone who has supported my new business and ordered a subscription box I started making my biblical sensory stuff for my class and saw instantly how much it helped them really lean on the Bible and a way to really bring the Bible to life with characters. So she had, I guess, started this little subscription business whatever thing where she was like hand painting these little like wooden people. Also, her hair looks really good that color, but she was like hand painting these little like Jesus people, these little like Bible people people. That went absolutely nowhere. Allegedly that she kept saying like, oh, I have my own classroom. Like I have a class where she worked at a daycare. You're a daycare worker. You're not a teacher. And then I guess she got like fired pretty quickly, which is not funny, Chelsea. You shouldn't laugh at that. June rolls around and what do you know? We don't hear about Modair anymore. She has started a new MLM company started in a new MLM company and that is Bella Grace. So she's on her kitchen counter in Bella Grace showing off all of that and she's just thriving, you know? So then she ranked up to platinum within less than a month, which is the third rank within the company. So she's posting about like how excited she is about that. And then not even two months later on August 1st, she says that she made one of the hardest decisions out there and I chose to take a 90 day reset and a pause from my company. I'm not quitting, I'm not leaving Bella Grace. And guess what? Then she left it <laughs> and then she quit. So on August 3rd, that she's building something bigger than you can ever imagine for yourself. Comment down below to be added to my social media coaching group, which costs $19. Time to release your insecurities. So then, I know it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's like something new every single day. And then you just never hear about any of it ever again after a month. It's great. On the 16th of August, she started at Master Resale Rights and her website page said, from broken, broken 
to transforming in 72 hours. How were you broken broken? You were just talking about how you were doing so well in this MLM and then you quit it and then you did that. Like how is anyone ever supposed to believe anything you say ever? I mean, don't obviously like they don't. So then she's starting to sell master resale rights, which is crazy because she back like back in the day in, I think it was fall of last year, she was posting about master resale rights basically. And it was like, before it was master resale rights, it's weird. So she starts to post about this literally every day and start making like reels and stuff about it too. And she's don't give up sis, keep going. The failures are what's making your success. That's not true. Success is what makes you successful. Believe in yourself. I lost, uh, this year I lost my car twice. I got repossessed twice. I went four and a half days with no running water with four kids because I couldn't pay my bills. This is not me suggesting that this should happen, but how has CPS not been called on her before? Like get a job. Stop going from scam to scam to scam. Just get a job so that your kids are safe and provided for. So, like so that you have stable income coming in. Like, yeah, you still might be struggling, but like you'll keep the lights on and be able to feed your kids. I'm talking about Master Resale Rights, posting about it every single day. It's truly wild. She keeps going on talking about how she made, you know, $2,000 within the first two days. Again, with Master Resale Rights, I'll have a video of that and the little icon up there in that corner and then link down below too. Also saying that she is like offering free consultation calls to like see if master resale rights is like good for you or something, which is like, isn't that just a sales call? Like, aren't you gonna pitch them anyways? So then the last time she mentions master resale rights is the 30th of August. So it's literally been a month and that's it. So strange. So she posted a reel about it saying just an average mom that decided to say yes and choose the route that would allow me to stay home with my babies, no upsells, no growing a team, just simply a course and giving me tools to succeed online. And then not even a few days later, she started talking about how like the devil was trying to make it so that she would divorce her husband or like talking about like marriage restoration and stuff like that. And it's just super crazy because she's someone that for the past like year or two was blasting on social media about how her husband was financially, physically, and mentally and emotionally abusive. Did I already say financially? I think I did. Literally all the abuse. And how like she cheated on him, I guess. And not I guess, she even says that. And it's just so like wild that now she's like now her tune has changed because of Jesus and like Satan was coming for her family. So she makes a quick turn. I guess she decides to get back with her ex. Now they're back together. On 9-13-2023, she posted this to TikTok. It's really weird that she's like, oh, I took like a, like a two month break off social media. No, you didn't. You were posting the entire time in August. And in September, been posting about master resale rights. You're doing that the entire time. So were you just like praying so hard that like you thought more time had passed? Because it hasn't passed. This woman really just like makes up like her own reality. And that my friend is called delusion. So she's starting a YouTube channel, which is like, okay, good, good for you. And you know, the like furniture restoration, that could be great. Awesome. Go for it. Like in another one of these, it's basically the same thing. She's like, I did it. I launched my YouTube channel, like link in bio. There's no link anywhere. I, I looked it up too. On YouTube, I tried to, I tried searching every variation of her name. Like I tried searching everything and there is no YouTube channel. So it's just, again, another like side hustle that she quit, I guess. It's so, it's so freaking weird. So she posted this that said, MLM friends, please read. Don't message me about your business opportunity. Politely respect that I have chosen a different route. For me and my family, network marketing was an exhausting 10 years of my life and I am choosing what my soul needs. I can no longer sit back and preach on time freedom when it robbed me of 10 years that I will never get back. I support you. I will still purchase from you. However, I do not want to take part in robbing anyone else's time ever again. Please know that if you've joined under me and had zero success, I'm so sorry. I appreciate your <laughs> I appreciate your effort. On to the next chapter. Thank you, God. Ebook dropping 101023. So she wrote a book and is super excited about it. And it's called Mom Makes Dough. Dough meaning bread. A guide on finding your identity through Christ in a boss babe inspired woman culture. Women culture. Overcome, why isn't that capitalized? Overcome who social media wants you to be and discover who Christ called you to be. Happiness is homemade. The book has been released. 
It's $10 and I bought it and I read it. I wouldn't so much as call it a ebook. I, I wouldn't really call it a book. I would call it a poorly organized, awfully executed, and horribly written pamphlet. It's 12 pages. It's awful. It is, it's horrible. It is behind a paywall, so like I can't share it, but I mean, I could, but I'm not going to do that. It's so bad. I, I feel like that in itself describes her so much to where she's been talking about how she's writing a book for so long and she's like so proud of this book like after reading through it I was like this took you two or three months to read to to write I could do this in an hour like what do you what are you doing there's so many grammar errors and then also just like the structure and like the formatting of the sentences just it does not work there's actually quite a few like typos as well and it's just like what is going on and it's sad because like she's so proud of it but it falls so short and it's like well no wonder she keeps going back to mlm after mlm because every time she tries to do something else she hypes it up so much talks about it so much gets so excited and it falls so short how much you want to bet she's going to start calling herself an author because of this ebook this ebook it's basically like a diary entry. It's all, it's so bad. I don't know why I expected anything else, but like, I honestly, I thought because she had been like hyping it up so much that it would have been worth the hype, I guess. I, I don't know why I expected anything different though. So let's fast forward to the last like month and a half. And right now it is the end of November. She posted this on October 15th, talking about how Satan's trying to steal your family how the demons are after you and your family. Satan's out there. The demons are after you. It's spiritual warfare. What in the Britney Dawn is going on? Girl, it's not spiritual warfare. It's not Satan trying to ruin your life. It's called the consequences of your own actions. It's called cause and effect. Actually, that's what it is. Maybe in your case, it's mental health. Like I just, it's, I feel so awful for her children. It's so scary. It's giving manic episode. It, it's so concerning. So concerning. Like, and it's insane that like the the people in the comment sections of these videos on TikTok, it's a little bit more, like a little bit better. But like on her Instagram and like on her Facebook, there's people who are like, I love you so much. And like, you're so great. And like, amen. And on TikTok, at least people are like, ugh, gross. <laughs> who Who's around you? Apparently now she's selling bread. So good for her. So then she, uh, you know, continues this is the end of October saying that she stopped her boss babe life and is flourishing in her homemaker Ruth Esther life. So just like full fundy. She's been posting a lot of stuff about how like the devil's after you and it's about after your marriage and your children and your family. And it's like, girlfriend, is stop putting holy water on things and go to therapy, please. She also was posting stuff on her Instagram story about how she is like only going to wear turtlenecks from now on because she needs to respect her husband posted this and it's the 27th of November and says y'all God is moving so strong on my life big things being released soon and I'm pretty sure so I found that one before I found this I'm pretty sure what it is is that now she's selling snake oil um an anointing oil yeah so the grift never stops yeah it's giving 2 a.m infomercial where they like sell holy water so that's great so scammy the grift never stops. I literally commented that on this video because she posted this on TikTok. I just can't with this woman. On to the next grift, I guess. It's always, always something with her. So I also tried to look for her Etsy shop. What do you know? Couldn't find it. Three days after she posted that, I still couldn't find her Etsy shop. So that was fun. Anyways. <laughs> If y'all have anyone that you would like me to check back in on, see how they're doing, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'll have all the videos where I featured these people originally in the description box below as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Scammers keep scamming. The red flags are there. Just look out for that. And don't trust anything these people say. Okay, stay spicy. Your butt looks good. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.